Hey, sweet souls, it's What's Up Wednesday with your Buddha Zen, and welcome to my first pilgrimage meditation and pick a card reading. I've been spicing up my weekly pick a card readings with uh, new and full moon information every other week. And then uh, also when we go into a new monthly zodiac energy, uh, we're introducing that as well with a special birthday bonus reading for the new sun babies for that uh, period. And now to round out the spicy experience, once a month I'm going to have a pick a card where before we have the pick a card, we we go on a meditative pilgrimage to a special place to see what we find. Ooh, ah, I know. And Wikipedia defines a pilgrimage as a journey, often into an unknown or foreign place, where a person goes in search of a new or expanded meaning about their self, others, nature, or a higher good through the experience, and it can lead to a personal transformation after which the pilgrim returns to their daily life. And that's the exact intention of these pilgrimage pick a card readings and for the future ones to come. In this video, we're going to first embark on a journey together through meditation and visit the pyramids of Egypt. I know. And then when we're done with the meditation, you'll have a choice between three different pick a card options to see what spirit wants you to know about your personal transformation. And you can choose from as many of them as you want. Uh, but we'll get to that when we're done with the meditation. Pyramids are believed by some to greatly enhance the activation of the seven chakras and many have experienced a sort of magnification of their energies being able to super focus the energies of their thoughts their emotions intentions and even impact their physical world energy so we'll bring that awareness into our meditation so let's get into it Before we head off to Egypt, let's first come out of any fears that we may be experiencing in the moment. So let's close our eyes and take a slow, deep breath in through our nose. Hold it for a moment and then exhale through our nose. And if you aren't able to breathe through your nose, then of course you can use your mouth. And let's repeat that a couple more times. In through the nose. Hold in. And exhale. One more time. In through the nose. Hold it. And exhale. Beautiful. Now, imagine a bright golden white cord extend from the bottom of your feet, growing and moving to the center of the earth. See a giant jade green orb at the earth's core, that's the earth's heart, and let your cord wrap around this heart, anchoring you to the earth's core. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Hold and exhale. Okay, we are ready. So intentionally smile really big and then step out of your body and look back toward yourself. Look at how awesome you look with that life changing smile. That smile that touches people when you don't even realize it. You make a note to yourself to smile more often. You begin floating a few inches above the ground and you tug on your cord that's connected to the earth's heart. It's secure, so you begin drifting higher in the room until you pass through the roof, through the ceiling of your home, rising higher and higher until you can see your entire neighborhood rising more still until you're above your city. 
don't worry, you are safe. You move up farther still until you're above your region and then still higher until you are above your country. And you see the moon full in the sky. She's smiling at you, beckoning you to follow her. So you do. And she leads you across the world, across continents, till you reach Africa, where you see the great sand deserts below you, and you begin to slowly descend. You move into Egypt, and as you approach the city of Cairo, you can see the great pyramids in the distance. You move closer and closer to them, and soon they're right below you. And you choose one pyramid, and you hover over it for a moment. The vehicles driving nearby looking like little child's toys. You drop down into the pyramid, easily moving through the stone and the rock until you reach a great hallway that's tunneled out beneath the pyramid where no one has gone before. And as you float down into the hallway and down the hallway, you begin to notice that there's pictures and glyphs that line the walls. You feel their stories and can sense their meaning somehow. You feel your history with this pyramid. You feel past life connections you have with it, maybe even more than one. The energy feels so warm and safe. You feel drawn to go deeper into the pyramid drifting deep into a room at the center of the pyramid. And in there you see a tomb of a pharaoh, an unknown pharaoh, one that's so old and from so long ago that they knew of how powerful the pyramid energy was and is. You move toward the tomb and you feel an urge to touch it with your hand, which you do. And immediately, you see a picture in your mind of a full moon many moons ago, resting above the pyramid when it was most powerfully used to connect to the moon's powerful energy. And you feel your energy join with this amazing energy of the pyramid. And this creates a surge of powerful love energy to pulse from the heart of the earth and it moves up through your chakras from the earth star chakra up into your root and then into your sacral chakra your solar plexus and it pauses at your heart chakra illuminating it with a beautiful jade color and that sparks an amazing pink aura around your heart, which represents your high heart. The energy spins so fast, it spins faster and faster and faster within your heart. And then it shoots up through your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, up through the crown chakra and all the way out of the top of the pyramid, out into the universe. And the creator and spirit respond and show themselves to you, taking your energy and creating beautiful creations in the universe. They show you how powerful your energy of creation is and that every moment you are creating through your power of choice of the stories that you're choosing to place on things, people, and events. Choosing what emotions you want to feel in the moment. Choosing where you are sending your intentions of energy. And choosing what actions you're taking in the physical world. They're showing you just how powerful you really are. 
You could have easily been this Pharaoh in this tomb in a past life. And the Creator wants you to know that every moment is happening for you and because of you and your choices. They love how creative you are and how you share that love in your heart with the world and they're excited for where you're going to take your gifts. They show you a brief view of the thread of your life and lives and how you impact and impacted others and the collective of the planet. Every moment you're giving experience to the collective and they want you to see that you are not here by accident and that you're about to go through a beautiful transformation where you step into a new version of yourself and a new path that is in alignment with who you've wanted to become in this lifetime. They want you to know that you can be more gentle and loving toward yourself. There is no should from their point of view. They are absolutely proud and excited for the adventures that you take them on with you. They are there for you. And if you need anything, know they are there, but they won't mess with that power of choice and free will. If you ask of your own free will, they will show you signs and provide assistance that can seem even miraculous at times. You are deserving, O oh mighty Pharaoh of your adventure. A beautiful rainbow energy returns back through the top of the pyramid from the universe, from spirit, from the creator and it reaches back into your heart, causing all of your chakras to spin with the colors of the rainbow. We just sit here for a moment, absorbing these messages and these energies. Inhale and breathe that energy into your heart. Exhale out, letting that love energy encompass your outside world. One more deep breath in. And slowly letting it out. We sense a tug to return to our human bodies. So we slowly rise up through the entire pyramid, rising out of the tip, rising higher and higher and higher, the pyramids getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We see the moon on our way, drifting back to our home and give her a high five. She is also very proud of you and excited for what you are transforming into. You spot your home as you return to your region and you begin to float down towards your roof like a light feather drifting slowly down through the sky. And you move down through your ceiling and you end up standing in front of yourself who's still grinning really big. So take a big deep breath and come back into your body as you exhale. Thank Mother Earth for keeping you grounded and safe. Take one final deep breath. Hold it and let it out expressing gratitude to the Creator, to Spirit, for their unconditional love. Beautiful. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this meditation as much as I did. And make sure to stay tuned in this video for the free Pick a Card readings for guidance on what Spirit wants you to know about your 
personal transformation. And if you have an interest of uh, somewhere else on earth or off earth that you would like to pilgrimage to uh, in meditation, let me know in the comments below, or you can email me at bredazen at gmail.com and I'll add it to the list. If you would like to dive into a past life reading or personal readings, uh, be sure to check out the description box of this video for details. Uh, for the rest of 2023, I'm offering 50% off all my personal pre-recorded readings. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And thank you so, so much for taking the time to attend this pilgrimage with me. Until next time, remember, you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things. And of course, I love you too. We'll catch you on the flip side. All right, and then let's take a look here and we're gonna have three choices for picket cards and we're gonna be using these chakra reading cards. Um, and we're gonna see which three options spirit has for us and then we'll dive into each. All right, so what are our three choices all right here's choice number one choice number two and choice number three all right so number one will be this one <laughs> well look at here we got self mastery look at the balancing here's all those chakras that were in the meditation i love it and then number two is going to be the grounding here I think this is the soul star chakra that goes down to the earth and then option number three we have holistic health all right so time stamps for everything will be down in the description box so you can choose from as many of these as you want i'm going to start with number one right now if you want to leap to one of the other ones just check the time stamps and it'll leap you forward so let's get into it if you chose reading number one which is actually the solar plexus chakra here, which is self mastery, card number 15. Then this is the reading for you. We got our little uh, pyramid here, our little uh, amethyst py uh, pyramid, bringing in that crown chakra energy. So we'll start off here and let's see what spirit wants you to know around your personal transformation. And this says that you've pulled this card today to let you know this is a powerful time to manifest your self-mastery. This is what we are talking about in that meditation. It talked about the power of choice, the power of mastering what your thoughts, your emotions, your intentions, and your physical actions are. So, so perfect for this. And life is constantly offering us lessons which give us the opportunity to grow and expand our soul. And you're being called at this time to master your gifts. The key is to focus your energy on what you would like to master and don't give up until you have embodied it fully. It takes commitment and motivation to create self-mastery. However, with consistency and time, it will come to fruition. Being blessed with this card today indicates that you are ready and are already on your way to mastering your gifts. Have you doubted yourself lately in a particular aspect of your life, resulting in frustration? Know that the current challenges you are undergoing are doorways to self-mastery. Make sure not to lose focus or give up hope as mastery is inevitable. To master something requires courage and love, and now is the time to give your full attention and presence to your gifts. You are being encouraged to look at your life's mission. Plant the seeds required to bring you closer to your soul's path. Stay motivated and dance in the mastery of life. And the affirmation for this card, I am the master of my destiny. I love it. So we definitely have this reiteration of a lot of what that, uh, you know, meditation was about, which was stepping into your power. It's like you are becoming the Pharaoh of your adventure. And I like that. 
Uh, we're going to go next to the whispers of the Lord Ganesha. And we're going to see here, you know, they're the remover of obstacles. So we're going to pull a couple cards uh, from a couple decks to represent what are you leaving behind so that you can move forward towards your dream, towards your mission, towards what your soul, um, your soul's higher heart, right? So let's take a look here. All right. This is the one right here. Let's see what we have. Acceptance, card number 39. Beautiful, beautiful card. We're going to put that right next to it here. Let's see. Oh, almost opened right to it. <clears throat> so there is great freedom in accepting things as they are. You cannot move forward on your path until you release some of the blame, the anger, and sorrow that you've collected on your life's journey. And Ganesha is asking you to forgive those from the past who have hurt you and to be willing to forgive yourself too. Open your heart to the world outside and to the one within. This deeper state of recognition and acceptance is what pushes you forward in your spiritual adventure. Love without judgment and live without predetermined opinions. Accept and express your true self. And the ego is beginning to align with the soul. What a relief. <laughs> you don't have to control everything, fix everything, and know everything. If you've been overly serious and tense, you now start to remember happiness. You may find that you can laugh at things instead of getting infuriated. Your contentment in life improves dramatically when you harness your ability to look at the world from a more spiritual perspective. The image of Ganesha holding the banana symbolizes humility and an awareness of not placing too much importance on your thoughts or beliefs in this situation. His pot belly signifies the bounty of nature. It is said that Ganesha consumes the sadness of the universe and protects the world. Learn to honor the values of others that may differ from your own. See your beauty of diversity. And once you see this beauty, it will open you to recognizing and accepting the beauty that resides within you. Wow. So accepting things as they are, but also letting go of, you know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. I, I love this. Just not having a ton of supposed to's and shoulds and need to's and have to's and must. Those are the things that keep us, you know, held back, right? And then we're going to look into the power of the surrender deck here and see what else uh, you can leave behind that is keeping you from moving forward. All right, so what else? All right, actually, look at this one right here. Yeah, surrender to the wisdom of your body, of your pot belly. <laughs> Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. And if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. And if you're energized and happy, then move forward. So I like this. They're allowing you to, you know, really look at those individuals um, those relationships that are being, it's like, reminds me of eight of cups kind of energy where you realize you're investing most of the energy, most of the time, uh, to keep the friendship or relationship going. And it's like, you know what? Uh, it's not conducive anymore. It's not for you. It, um, any longer, it provided you what you needed to learn, but now it's time for you to move forward. And it's okay to determine what energy you're keeping around in the other energy that can be forgiven and let go. Um, and, you know, sometimes if you're giving 80% of the energy and they're only consistently giving 20, when you back off and maybe just give 50% 
if they don't make up that difference, then the relationship or friendship just drifts apart. And then you're okay with it. You don't have to send them a termination notice saying that it's over. I'm no longer friends with you or we're breaking up. You just stop investing as much energy. And if they don't invest, then that's the decision, right? You're like, you know what? I'll give half and maybe a little more sometimes, but not consistently 80%. So I like that energy this releasing of things this forgiveness uh, getting rid of the anchors and the the baggage that is holding things back and then we're going to look into the gateway of light activation oracle and this we're going to put here in the middle with this this is the gateway that helps you move forward in your life and then we'll see what energies come in because of this so for those that chose reading one the solar plexus chakra what energy what gateway helps them move forward please whoa they don't want that one just butter fingers let me try again all right it's this one right here And you got Thoth light codes. Well, wow, look at that. Light initiation, great teacher awakening, divine magic. Beautiful, beautiful card there. And we'll just put that down here. And let's see what this brings in for you here. It's almost in the back of the book here. There it is. So it's actually pronounced Toth, not, I guess, the H, one of the H's is silent. So Toth, also known as Tehuti, is the ancient Egyptian. That's hilarious that we just visited the Egyptian pyramids, right? So the ancient Egyptian um, Ibis headed god of writing, divine magic, and the moon. <laughs> and we had a lot to deal with the moon in the meditation, too. I love it. Uh, so acknowledged as the sacred scribe who created writing, he's considered to be the great mind behind the, uh, the hieroglyphics and the maintainer of the Egyptian universe. So we also talked a lot about that, the glyphs that were in the hallway. So I love this energy coming in with all of this. Uh, it is said he was the priest king of Atlantis and was dedicated to leading the Atlantean people in a loving way that was firm but fair. However, no matter how hard he tried to direct them, any of them didn't obey the spiritual laws of the universe, which inevitably led to the end of their civilization. This gateway takes you to a space where you can connect with the energetic frequency that Toth carries. And as a master teacher of the stars, he holds space for you to connect with some of your greatest gifts from this lifetime and the many others you've lived. Oh my God, we talked about past lifetimes. This talked about getting in tune with your gifts too. So perfect. Uh, Toth's primary teaching is spiritual integrity, and he's working alongside a powerful congregation of evolved souls, the Ascended Atlanteans, to guide those who are ready to increase their awareness. He specializes in helping those who are finding it difficult to make spiritual progress to rise above the aspects of their life that are holding them back, and he helps awaken the teacher within. Wow, <laughs> this is so perfect. I, I love spirit <laughs> uh, for many reasons, but this is a huge one of it that they are just, I love how they like to talk to us. To connect to this energy of this gateway, you can chant Tahuti, Tahuti, Tahuti until you feel a shift in the energy around you. Then say Toth, great priest, king of Atlantis and divine scribe of ancient Egypt, Thank you for initiating and awakening the great teacher within me. Beautiful. The message that the card brings you is that you are blessed to connect with Toth. You are going through a powerful set of light initiations at this time, and these are preparing you to lead and to teach from a powerful space of love. 
In order to complete the process, there will be a release of old ideas and limiting stories. But this is necessary for you to connect with the true power within you. So don't be concerned by the intensity of the energies that surround you right now. Facing shadow parts of yourself and your story is essential for connecting with divine magic and evolved beings of light are there to lead the way. If you have any concerns or fears at this time, know that when your fear gets loud, it be, it's because you're on the cusp of something extremely powerful. Wow. Yeah, definitely this beautiful energy is coming in here. And then we're going to pull from the energy oracle and we're going to see what this energy is that's coming. What is this upgrade? These um, awakening codes. Let's see what we got coming in here. So what is this energy? What else do you want them to know, please? Okay, that one right there. And we've got the Angel of Love, card number 49. So you had card 39, we've got card 49, and this was all about sharing love and leading with love as well. So let's take a look here and see what comes in here. Yeah, Tender Connections. So this beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. We got rose quartz right here too. If you're looking for new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more inti intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward and the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. There's all that smiling again that we did in the meditation. And the affirmation for this is, I love and value myself without limitation or condition. Tender, loving treatment comes to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. Yeah, so the love starts with self-love, inward and upward. You fill up with a chalice and then it overflows out to the world. So a lot of this awakening, a lot of this, which makes sense, solar plexus, you know, the, the root chakra, the red, is about like how we relate to groups in the world, right? And then the sacral chakra, the orange one, is all about our one-on-one -on -one relationships. And then the yellow uh, solar plexus chakra is about our relationship to ourself. And that makes total sense, right? So there's this great energy here focusing on, on that. And then we're going to pull from the Oracle of Seven Energies and see what else about this um, beautiful love that you're teaching. You're filling up and learning uh, about, about self-love, which then allows you to um, show other people as well how they can experience that and uh, grow that. Yeah, and you have the Call of the Muse, card number 31. Another angelic being here. Yeah, 9 and 4 is 13, which is the opposite of that, but these all end up coming down, back down to 4s, right? <laughs> so let's take a look here. So the key energies of this are creative expression, being in the flow of creativity, tuning into inspiration, allowing creativity without being self-conscious, writing and journaling as a means of connection. And so here, this was the master of the writing, right? And so maybe journaling, or if you're, you know, have been wanting to put your thoughts and your dreams and uh, what you've learned into writing, that was very helpful. I love the meme that talks about, you know, that you know your experiences become pages and other people's survival manuals because of what you share 
And it says when you feel the call of the muse, you're being invited to create, like we talked about in the meditation. So much of this energy is what came through the meditation. To be in the artist choreography in your life, serving on behalf of the great artist, the divine source. And while the process feels intensely personal, your ego and self-identification are, ironically, the most unnecessary part of the equation. While you might think that you own the magic of your creativity, can you truly say that you are the source of the inspiration? Similar to the spirit of genius from card 29 in this deck, imagine that your creativity stemming from another, uh, stems from another spirit guide, the muse. Just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect, so does the muse need to open your heart and let the magic flow through intuition and emotions. Stop seeing yourself as the center of the process and instead see yourself as a partner in a creative dance. Sometimes you might be inside the music and the feelings, the story, and its expression. Other times you observe from the sidelines watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creativity of um, energy, sorry, creative, duh. So, um, let me reread that. Today, your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be given a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal, finish that writing project start something new paint sing dance and don't worry where any of it lands it has its own plans for you your muse knows where this is all meant to go for you the big magic is in the experience of answering the call yeah so just stepping forward is a huge piece here uh, for you with all of this and then lastly, we'll pull here from the Ancestral Path Tarot and just see what their final messages are regarding this. But I'm loving this stepping forward here, this really connecting to your power, letting go of these things and moving forward. The writing really stands out quite a bit too. So let's take a look here. We'll see how many swords cards you get, which are all about communication and writing as well. All right, so you get three here. And over here, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Sacred Circles. So this is Mother Nature, Mother Nurture, New Birth, um, and um, putting yourself first when it comes to this energy. And you do have some healing, you do have some nurturing to go here. The moon cycles are huge here. So if you haven't checked out my uh, Moon Day Mondays, um, I talk about the moon's energy throughout the week, what's coming in, any planetary energies that stand out to me, uh, that impact, and so we can be aware of the forecast of how things are unfolding, what, what things we can look at and make the most of that uh, planetary and moon energy. So be sure to check that out. It'll be, the playlist is at the end and also in the description box of the video. Yeah, and then you have the Hermit's journey here in the middle. So this is this movement inward, and that star there on the top of the staff there, that does represent, it almost looks like the exact same, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, but this is this uh, you know inner journey uh, connecting to your higher self uh, and allowing it to guide your path. So this internal... Um, reflection, this internal time has been mentioned in here as well, and that allows you to express your magic here and uh, show and connect to your higher self and discover what that higher heart wants, uh, allowing it to guide you into how it wants to express itself. 
And then your final card is the Nine of Cups. Hey, we like wish fulfillment, dreams come true kind of cards coming in. And here it goes. So yeah, determining what it is that your wish is, that's the biggest thing, is letting go of all the old mindsets, letting go of the old things that are holding you back, including limiting thoughts and beliefs about what your dream is supposed to be. This allows you to move forward, discovering what it is, and then you are able to move forward and boom, you have this like dream come true type of energy that comes in here. So I love this with your personal transformation. It is this letting go of the old and the people that no longer serve you, the thoughts and the beliefs, the dreams that aren't yours, discovering what they are, connecting and moving forward. Oh, wow. And you can even see here, let me see if I can get it close enough here. You can see the star is in their eyes here. The same star. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> all right. Well, this is what they have for you, all of the uh, chose reading number one. And if you're looking for more messages of love from above, there's a few things that you can do. First, you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button that tells me that you're enjoying this type of format. And it also tells YouTube that you are and they'll draw more of the similar videos to you. The second thing you can do is click that subscribe button. It does give you access to the notification bell and if you go into your notification settings and select all then you'll be notified when any new videos come out on my channel plus you're also notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings uh, also doing these things helps you be part of the love tsunami uh, because when you like or share my videos subscribe to my channel comment on my videos you can even become a YouTube uh, channel member of my channel doing any of those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy crazy happy excited wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well so you help spread the Zen love so if you um, are guided or drawn to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings, past life readings, birthday readings, a bunch of different things, um, and most of it's um, half off for the remainder of 2023. All those details are listed down in the description box of the video here below. All right, all of you that chose reading number one, you solar plexus, flexing your solar plexuses, uh, just know as you're going through this beautiful transformation that every second of every day of your life that you, yes, you, are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things, our creator, and of course, I love you too. So until I see you again, much love to you, you hang in there, and you take care. If you chose reading number two, which is the Earth Star Chakra, number four here, then this is the reading for you with this grounding energy. So we'll start here and find out what Spirit wants you to know about your personal transformation. And I love the Earth Star Chakra because this is the one that was underneath our feet that we used in the meditation to root down to the, the grounding that grounded us here. So I love this. And it says, you've attracted this card into your world today as a sign that it's time to get grounded. You may have been feeling a little scattered with your thoughts and feelings and finding it's difficult to focus and concentrate. Maybe you're feeling stressed and busy due to the many demands on you and are finding it difficult to create and manifest positive outcomes and experiences in your life. Know that you are not alone. This is a very common feeling. It is. And it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind and craziness that surrounds us, especially in the world today. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for you. And the best thing for you right now is to get centered and grounded. The most powerful way to do this is to align with and reconnect to the beautiful Mother Earth. You're encouraged to take some time in nature, connecting and receiving the abundance of energy and magic she has to share. This is the best medicine for your soul right now. You may like to spend some time at the beach, go for a walk in the bush, visit a lovely waterfall, or a favorite place in nature where you feel at peace. Sit on the land and feel yourself completely grounded and centered. 
When you are grounded, you feel a deep connection to yourself and to everything around you. Wow. And the affirmation for this card, my energy is completely grounded into the healing energy of the earth. <laughs> so great. Um, you know, you might have come out of that meditation if you did listen to it, uh, feeling very grounded. If you did not listen to the meditation, definitely there's a timestamp down below after you're done with the reading. You can click on it and it'll take you back to the meditation because it's a very important part of this uh, grounding. So I like that. And then we're going to jump into the Whispers of the Lord Ganesha and we're going to pull um, from two different decks here to find out what you're leaving behind to be able to move forward here with this energy. So let's take a look here and see what they want you to know. So for those that chose reading two, the Soul Star Chakra. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yep, I love these cards. So brilliant and beautiful. Positive outlook. I like it, I like it. And let's see what this brings here for you. So definitely part of grounding, where we're focusing our energy, and even the, the meditation talked about, you know, that you are in power of where you focus your energy. And it says here, how you feel depends on your own mental attitude. And the many faces of Ganesha reflect how you feel about the different aspects of your life. Spirituality, health, finances, relationship, and emotional well-being. It is important to remember that circumstances are not good or bad, but are always neutral. It's how you approach the situation that will determine your outcome. If you choose to see something as depressing, well, it will be. If you choose to see it as encouraging, well, it will be. <laughs> your mind determines how your day will go. Your state of mind has influence over your body, your relationships, your emotional well-being, and how you view your finances. Every day you are so careful when considering what you will eat during that day. You have an opportunity to be just as discerning when it comes to how you think. You can conquer your moods, no matter how bad a mood you seem to be in. Make up your mind that you're not going to be controlled by your moods anymore. If you do find yourself in a low disposition, take a moment to acknowledge what brought this up for you. Take positive action to shift back to happiness or being positive. Yeah. So this grounding, you know, this the breathing that we did in the beginning of the meditation helps get us out of our fear and back into our human, compassionate, kind, intelligent side of us. And that allows you to look and change your positive here. If we're brought into fear, that's what takes us into feeling ungrounded and unstable. But when we choose both our mental, emotional, energetic, and um you know, physical actions to reflect joy and celebration that also helps here. So I like that. Laugh as much as you can. And then we're also going to pull from the power of surrender deck and see what else they'd like to add in here that can be surrendered and let go so that you can move forward. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Surrender to receiving support and love. Oh, to polar bears. It says, allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Yeah, and that is common for us to feel like we have to do it all alone. And, you know, one of the biggest things, though, is like you enjoy helping people, right? Um, but if we don't allow people to give to us and we don't ask for help, then we cheat them out of that experience too. So I like this allowing people to help, allowing the universe to help as well. This has this feelings of deservedness coming in here, kind of like the Six of Pentacles, which is realizing what this, what's going on below the surface that could be making us feel we don't deserve this. Um, and if you check out, um, I have a Take 10 with Zen series and it's funny because um one of the the uh, most recent i think it was the one that came out this week 
um because i i recorded them in advance like these and <laughs> uh, i think it's like what is a good day and this was all talking about a good day uh, but also if you look at episodes like four five and six it talks about fate one of them i think it's five talks about the six of pentacles which is how we can clear away this out of balanced uh, giving and receiving where we feel we have to give so much to receive so little so there's some good release here releasing of of low um you know um low belief in that we deserve things that we deserve to be helped uh, and that we can we don't have to fear asking for help in this wonderful transformation of changing our mindset and questioning these fears and beliefs that are taking us into lower vibrational energy all right and then we're gonna pull here from the gateway of light activation and this is going to be the gateway here that um, introduces and allows you to move from some of these old things through this with this grounding into new energies which we'll look into here in just a moment and the gateway is the soul star activation fulfilling soul contracts remembering who you are wow so you go from the one below the feet at the very underneath the lowest chakra to a high soul so it's like the the lowest and the highest which i love so let's take a look here and see what this brings in here here we are so the soul star chakra is the energy sensor that is found around 6 to 12 inches above the crown and connects us directly with soul wisdom and this um this other um chakra this um earth star chakra is the one that's 6 to 12 inches below our feet i love it so it is our gateway to the etheric realms which holds all the lessons of all the incarnations that we've experienced through our soul star um i'm sorry experience period and we talked about past lives also in that um that um um meditation i think this is egyptian we'll see here in a sec because through our soul star we access information and wisdom like a computer connecting to the internet through broadband instead of having to move through the dimensions to access the information we can remain connected at all times and download support as necessary oh my god so in the reading number one this card that came through is also egyptian this is the egyptian god horus <laughs> I, I just can't make it up they appear on this card as our spirit guide his hawk headed image is said to illustrate his connection to the sun the moon and the stars and as a keeper of energetic portals to the hidden realms he can help us remember our starry origins open psychic vision and connect directly with the wisdom that is held in the stars i love it to connect this gateway imagine yourself in a wide open space under a night sky filled with stars and say horus cosmic sky guardian thank you for activating my soul star chakra so that i can remember on a soul level and your message that comes with this card is though i'm sorry through your previous journeys you have learned much about the inner workings of your soul and about the cycles of karma and before this incarnation you set a powerful intention to remember your divine origins and at this point you are in a powerful space for you are remembering who you truly are and you know that you have it within you to make a great difference in your own life the lives of those you love and of course the world this remembering is in alignment with the soul contracts you made before you come into this realm and if you find yourself worrying if you're making the right decisions know that even if you aren't conscious of it all that you have chosen so far is in accordance with your soul's evolutionary plan and when you draw this gateway you're opening up on higher levels yeah 
this connection here, you get grounded and come out of fear, then you can consciously choose the higher vibrations of the higher, higher realms. I love it. Then we're going to see what energies are coming with this change, with stepping through this gateway, connecting, you know, both way down deep and way up high. Uh, I love this. We have the energy oracle cards. And let's see what they want you to know. What energy is coming through this gateway for you with this after this grounding? All right, here it is right here. I want this one right there. And you've got carrying connections. Yeah. Love it. Looks like the Two of Cups, which not only is to other people, but also to your higher self in the other realms. So let's take a look and see what this comes in here. So yeah, friendships, partnership of two, and possible love. Yeah. So you definitely, with this, it's like this self-love, right? You have the grounding, which allows you to look at your fears, allows you to let the stuff go and accept and transform things which open up. And if you feel like you have been consciously wanting love, wanting different things, that Take 10 with Zen episode 5, I think, with the Six of Pentacles, um, allows the uh, energy fields, the force fields that are keeping things from me to open up, that allow these types of things to come in. So this card shows a couple in a tender embrace with the woman holding the blossoms of new love. And like the community card, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. So this card upright signals the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of new love can also signify a former business partnership or formal, sorry, not former. I do know how to read. I don't know why I'm having trouble reading today. <laughs> when this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may be more intimate, purposeful, or present at this time. So notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. And the affirmation for this card is I open my heart and life to truly caring connections. The ideal friend and partner is coming to me now. Yeah, so this uh, receiving support and love I kind of feel like, I mean, this is a general reading, but I feel like the energy is mostly friendship, support, like a best friend type of energy. It doesn't move over into, you know, sensuality in that it feels more supportive and uh, in that. But of course, it could be whatever it is for each individual. Um, but we're going to take here also and see what this comes in the oracle of the seven energies and see what else they want you to know about these energies so put that here and you've got a burst of magic card number 48 beautiful beautiful so put that right here and let's see what comes in with this one so the overall energies of this are an epiphany, a sudden higher knowing, a sense that everything has a purpose. Also, your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you, cultivating conscious contact with a higher power and coming to know what calls to you and lights you up. Yeah, so this soul, soul star activation. And it says, sometimes you may find that something you've been pondering or a dilemma you'd let go of revisits you without warning. It may hit you while you're thinking about nothing or the trigger may be just the right words arising in a conversation, a book or a blog. An epiphany strikes like a lightning bolt, waking you up to a truth that has previously eluded you. It's as if the whole world stops in that moment as you integrate the missing pieces of the puzzle you were meant to so that you were meant to solve all along. This is uh, such a time for you now. Answers are coming directly from source and being downloaded into you with such force of conviction that you cannot be the same again. Be grateful for this beautiful burst of magic. It's a not an everyday gift. 
Inherent in this knowledge that Spirit is always listening to you, Spirit is your loving partner, reminding you that you are not alone. Even when it appears that you are trapped, you always have a key to unlock the solution if you cultivate the willingness to be open and in tune with Source. The answers you seek come when you stop looking for them. So, you know, this is feels like the Two of Cups, which can be your relationship with your higher self in the spirit world. So, like I said, I felt it was more either spiritual or best friendish than it was romantic. This confirms that. And it says, be mindful today when information pops up out of the blue, pay attention. Pay attention. The action you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom. Regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you will be transformed. Only good will come of this. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we were talking about, all this transformation. So the transformation, I feel, and we'll, we'll pull more, uh, just a few more cards here for you. But, you know, this transformation does feel about the, the heart very much of transformation of coming out of fear um, looking at what you were fearing, what is this out of balance giving and receiving that allows you to release things, and then that's what allows this higher love to come in, which does feel very magical. And it's the, I mean, you've got the root and the the um, soul star. You got this huge um, expanse in between that is aligning right, and that's what we when we uh, have that meditation and the swirling the uh you know the swirling rainbow kind of looked like that in each of the chakras and it's beautiful because it is this cleansing that comes and i like this for you all right and then we're going to use this ancestral path tarot and just see what else they want you to know here um, about this transformation all right so we'll start over here yeah seven of swords so this is so much sense because this is the deceiver the our own thoughts and beliefs and mindsets that have thieved from us that have deceived us and it's about letting go of the thoughts and beliefs and mindsets that no longer serve right it's becoming aware of the the conflict and they usually are brought about and shown to us by having us experience our triggers out in the outside world things triggering us so that we're aware of them and then once we ground ourselves we're like ah i see it now i can release it right and then you have the princess of cups so yeah the page of cups new love higher love uh this emotion and this is the offering this this chalice here this holy grail is us we're looking to to find our self-love and to fill up with that love on the inside which fills us up and overflows out to the world so there definitely is this self-love message that's through this entire reading here and then lastly you have the five of stabs and the five of ones usually starts out um, with people it, usually it's like there's people fighting and i like the, how they have this interpreted because this is like post post um uh, conflict where at first we see it as people trying to kill one another and then we realize no it's Buddhist monks and, and in this case it's probably temple priests and priestesses who are helping each other improve their skills through training and battle not you know um, specifically trying to hurt one another but to help develop one another and so there is this transformation with the five of wands from emotions of fear that transform into emotions of love so i like that here <laughs> and what a beautiful beautiful transformation and i love the grounding i love what this uh, meditation hopefully brought in for you that we're looking for this grounding and hopefully you found it through that meditation all right, and that's what they have for you now. If you are looking for more messages of love from above, there's a couple things that you can do. First, you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button. That does tell me you're enjoying the content, but it also tells YouTube that you are, and um, they'll send you more similar videos as well. The second thing you can do is click that subscribe button. It gives you access to the notification bell, which will, um, if you go in there and select the all option, it'll tell you when 
any new videos come out on my channel, and it'll tell you when I'm going to go live on YouTube to provide free readings as well. Also, in addition to that, you can be part of the love tsunami because when you like or share my videos, comment on my videos, um, become a subscriber to my channel or even a member of my YouTube channel, doing all those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy, crazy, happy, excited, wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well so you help spread the Zen love. And these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings uh, and um, all that information is listed in the description box of the video below. I do have half off most of my services for the rest of 2023. All right, everybody that chose this beautiful adventure, as you're going through each and every second of every day of your life, please know that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things and of course i love you too so until we chat again much love to you hang in there and you take care if you chose reading number three then this is the reading for you and you chose the base or the root chakra with card number seven holistic health so that's a beautiful transformation. We'll see what else Spirit wants you to know about this personal transformation. And he says you've drawn this card today to let you know that the healing is at hand. It is your natural state of being to be healthy in all aspects of your life. Your mind, your body, and spirit are constantly working to attain good health. And due to the world we live in, which is filled with stress and toxic chemicals and di disharmony, of course, is prevalent. The body, however, has an innate intelligence to heal. Your job is to get out of its way and clear your emotional and mental imbalances so the body can heal itself. Disease and sickness can occur on many levels. The body can store old emotions and beliefs, which in time can create imbalances in your outer energy, causing disharmony and dis-ease. Healing is holistic, and when you can work on the many layers of being, miracle healing can occur and a state of well-being can take place. Have you been feeling out of balance, sluggish, and generally unwell? It's time to tune in and become aware of any disharmony in your field. Do what's required for holistic healing to occur. It's time to expand your awareness and look behind the issue at what emotion or outdated belief system could be causing an imbalance. You are the most powerful person in your life to create profound healing. It's time to look at yourself holistically and let go of anything that is not serving your highest purpose at this time. Do what is required to nurture this process, whether it is to go and see a healer, a massage therapist, start a daily practice like yoga, meditation, or some form of exercise. You may also be guided to change what you eat or change something in your environment. Whatever your mind, body, and spirit is calling you to do, it is a perfect time to take action and invite holistic healing in your life. Of course, disclaimer in the description box of the video, I'm not a licensed medical practitioner. Any changes you want to make, always consult a professional uh, individual, whether it's for medical, um, you know, legal, uh, counseling, whatever it may be. <laughs> Always have to throw that in there when they mention medical here in the United States. So it's been said. Affirmation over this card. Every little cell in my body is happy and healthy. I love it. All right. And then we're going to dig in here with the whispers of the Lord Ganesh. We're going to take a couple different decks here and just dive into what can be let go. It talked about letting go of things. Let's see what else. Uh, what other guidance they give you on what can be left behind, what needs to be changed for you to move forward in your energy and forward into this transformation. All right, I feel like this is the one here. <laughs> yep, reflection, card number four. Definitely something that helps us understand everything, looking in the proverbial mirror, right? Let's see what they have here. 
Yeah, honor the wisdom within yourself. Honor what your body's telling you, right? Ganesha is here to help you find the truth of who you are, the light of your own soul, and be willing to let it shine. You've reached the point in your life's journey where self-judgment and criticism no longer serve you. It is imperative that you understand and appreciate the distinctive person that you bring into all situations. Each of us has our own unique path, and through self-awareness and observation, you can see that everyone is working toward the same objectives on their individual path, which ultimately leads to the same higher purpose. You have made great progress on your spiritual path. It's now time to release the need to take responsibility for events and lives that are beyond your control. Recognize the beauty of each of our paths and bless the journey of others. Appreciate silence and allow your inner light to shine out towards others as a means of communication. Through reflection and visualization, get in touch with the wise person within you. Yeah. So this is this. Trust your path is unfolding for a reason here. Any of the health stuff that we have has been these indicators for us to look inward and see what reflections we can see about ourselves, right? Then we're going to look in at the Power of Surrender deck here. Let's see what else we've got here. What else can we let go of? So I like this permission, I actually get two, this permission to release the, you know, feeling responsible for other people, right? Yep, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Well, that's perfect. And it says, let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. That's perfect. And then you also have you know, surrendering negative thinking. Uh, you know, so negative self-talk, right? You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say, thank you for sharing, and quickly refocus on pos positive affirmations. I love that. And look at these. <laughs> this is all about purple and yellow, and you got purple and yellow. So they even match in that pretty. All right. So I like this. It is definitely understanding what of your own negative thoughts and beliefs, the lower vibrational um, choices of stories that we've been putting around things. What is it in, and how can we use this to flow forward in a new transformation where we feel we're in a, a more uh, higher level of holistic health? We're also going to look at the gateway of light activation uh, oracle, and we're going to see what gate helps you that you travel through to move into new energies. So let's take a look here for those that chose reading three. All right, that is the one here. We got the an angelic frequency. Ooh, angels are here. You are safe. Potent connection. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Right here. Let's see what comes in for here. I love the angels helping. So angelic frequency. So the angelic frequency is the energy of the angels and the angelic kingdom, which is aligned to service, devotion, authenticity, and love. And when this frequency comes to us, it's because the gateway of our heart has aligned with it. We've essentially become an angel upon the earth. And angels are the heartbeats of source. And so when we're in touch with the angelic realm, we're also connected to the heart of God. And this card features a being of light. The streams of light surrounding it are the angelic frequency pouring down to light upon uh, to light up our life. Sorry, this image also unlocks our soul memories of our guardian angel. And before we were in this life, we danced across the midnight sky, and as the universe follows the law of attraction, our angel was attracted to us because our likeness was also in them. 
So we became connected, and since then our angel has been with us through every lifetime and every experience. Yeah, I believe our guardian angel was created at the same time we were. Um, when our soul was created, there was this uh, guardian angel, this um, being of light that was created right alongside us. And it's interesting because in, uh, this is not like popular belief, but this is what spirit told me. And, and it feels so right that it's important for us to have this mother father um, relationship with creator but they also wanted to have a buddy buddy type of relationship as best friend and so they also created themselves right alongside us as an angel as a guardian angel to where we can have this buddy buddy and we don't realize until later much later that oh my gosh that's you that's creator you know it's like having been friends with a prince for your entire life not realizing that they're this quadrillionaire trillionaire that um is going to take over a kingdom or whatever you're just like oh my gosh you and it's wonderful right and that's your guardian angel <laughs> and to connect to this beautiful energy visualize yourself surrounded by golden light to attract the angelic kingdom into your world silently say thank you angels for reminding me of your presence it feels so good to know you are here and then welcome in their light and then the message for this gateway says angels are drawing close at this time, so be open to signs and synchronicities that confirm this. It's important for you to know that through your actions, choices, and service, you have upgraded your spiritual connection and your frequency. Rejoice, for you may be rewarded with abundance and blessings at this time, and you've been making choices that are not just for your own greater good, but for all of those that are around you. And that's like what we're talking about in the meditation, about choice, choice, choice. And that says your guardian angel is with you now, helping you remember your infinite power and potential. Reach for the stars and trust that all the efforts you've been making both internally and externally, will bring blessings and opportunities. The path you are on is aligned to your highest good, and the support you need is there for you. You are cherished by angels. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So definitely trusting that you're not alone in everything, that you have angels around you that are tending to you, and if you ask them, they will tend to your body and your mind and your spirit and everything in your life too. They want to help, but they won't meddle with our power of choice, right? So I like that. All right, and then we're going to look in here, the energy oracle cards, and let's take a look and see where this gateway opens up, this transformation. What does this lead to? All right, right off the bat, boom. And you've got financial constraints, card 13. Yeah, it feels like the five of pentacles, which is all about feelings of abandonment, being left behind, being left out in the cold, um, you know, of lack. And uh, this, um, I'll read from the book too, but it feels so much like this five of pentacles that, you know, when we trust humans that's where we experience abandonment and being left and feeling alone right because um, when a human goes into fear by golly when we go into survival mode we will pull that rug right out from underneath our someone's feet to protect ourselves right when we, we go into survival mode we do not care <laughs> it's like a our intelligent compassionate loving side is out and this little two-year-old with its pet cat is in charge and it's going to do whatever it needs to feel safe and in control again and it's usually stupid unkind and unloving things when we do it that way but that's uh, that survival instinct but once that's done uh, things break down things you know we understand it and we begin to have the instead of trusting humankind to bring us what we need in each moment we turn inward and upward realizing that we're always going to have everything we need that we're watched out for and seen so i like that and this does have this restrictions concerning money, but I feel like this energy that's transforming is this feeling of abundance that we're not depending on humans. We're building this trusting relationship with spirit um, because this card shows an old fashioned safe 
with little money, but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. That's that feeling of lack. So um, this is bringing that to your, the forefront for you to see. Uh, I feel like I'm going to read the reversed meaning of this card, which says uh, an increase in money is about to come your way. The previous constrictions have broken open and there's a greater flow of money and other things. As more funds come in, you'll find you have the freedom to take more risks and spend without the previous extreme precautions. The river of abundance is starting to flow your way, but don't be too cavalier. Always bring your consciousness to this and every aspect of your life. And the affirmation is, I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness, and I'm open to receive increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life, bringing benefits to all. Yeah, so that is definitely the transformation that we are talking about. Uh, and then we have the Oracle of the Seven Energies, which this reminds me of this would have been what was zipping around in the meditation in our chakras, all of them. Let's take a look here and see what else about this energy of lack into abundance. What else do you want for those that chose reading three? Okay, did you want that one? And we've got seeing beyond. I like that. Card number 36. We'll put that right here. And let's see what this brings in for you. And so the energy of this is a vision, the capacity to imagine something, to look beyond the material, beyond the obvious. It's the realm of the transpersonal options and possibilities, getting out of your own way and discarding your projected outcomes. So, you know, the fear we have when we're in have any health issues, we project into the future and we fear the future or we're focused on the past. Either way, we're stressed and anxious till we come back to the now. And when we see through the eyes like this and discard the projected outcomes, we're able to be here now with creator and spirit in the moment. And it says, do you consider things only within the framework of what you already know? Or can you allow yourself to see beyond into the vastness of potential? We are all gifted with the magical ability of imagination. And when we open to it, we become a conduit for divine vision greater than our own. There are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from a face value perspective. Uh, what you see is what you get. And the second is allowing your imagination to see beyond what something is right now and move into a place that doesn't yet exist in the material world. In this cosmic playground of possibilities, you see into a future where anything you imagine has the potential to become real faith and trust. If you use your imagination faithfully and consciously, avoiding the traps of fearful projection and drama, you can connect to any reality you truly want to experience. When you open yourself even further, you're often gifted with a divine vision. And as a practice, you can reimagine that vision over and over to strengthen it. And as you channel these visions through you, you become a superconductor for the world. Today, know that your vision, what you imagined forming in the invisible, will be delivered into the material world. Don't worry about the timing of things. That's in the hands of the universe. Your job is to continue to imagine. Take a few steps forward, then imagine some more. The universe's job is to make it real. What a fabulous partnership. Yeah, again, the trust and the faith that's developed here. Trusting both with health, with wealth, with whatever we have, all this negative thinking and beliefs about ourselves that we don't deserve it. This reflection that comes in allows you to step through knowing that you are supported, you are divinely protected, divinely guided. And uh, it allows you to see past these things, allows you to see past these feelings of lack, realizing it's not humans that are bringing me what I need in each moment, though they might deliver it sometimes, it's the creator and spirit 
that uh, love me and trust me and want to give me everything um, you know that I need plus more not just bread and water but they like to put a little butter on it too because <laughs> they love us right and then we're gonna look at the ancestral path tarot and just get your final messages here what else do they want you to know about your uh, transformation here okay they do want that one there and that one there and that one there okay you get two in the middle so you got these little two twos going on here we'll start over here though <laughs> yeah five of pentacles <laughs> so um as i was saying here <laughs> with the uh the uh <laughs> this reminded me of the five of pentacles well there you go so th this is definitely this confirmation the thoughts and the beliefs and the mindsets that we have here um, this is what you're reflecting on this is what you're seeing if you haven't checked out my take 10 with zen episode episode five um i believe it's episode five it's four or five four or five i don't think i think six is about um fate and death but it's those three are all about fate and one of them talks about the six of pentacles that comes after here which is where we balance out this out of balance giving and receiving and these feelings of self-worth and then i feel like we're going to this one next yeah the tower so this is the trust that comes in here um you know because the tower is the burning tower and look there's the sphinx We've been having a lot of uh, the first two um, readings on this card had gods of of Egypt, and here we have the Sphinx <laughs> coming in here. So Egypt came through in every single one of these readings. That's hilarious. But the tower is trust that everything that has moved out of our life is moved out on purpose for purpose, creating space for that which is designed to be in our lives. Um, and also clear the pathway for us to get to, to that place as well. Yeah, three of wands. So there is this change of direction, the change of where you're investing your energy. Three of wands is like you're going from A to B, and there's this, you know, um, I'm going that direction, but then midstream from B to C, you uh, have new, inform <laughs> new information, new things to look at, and it allows you to open up and see things differently and then want to make a different path a different decision to go in a different direction which i like yeah and then you have the five of cups so there's a bit of emotional transformation here fives are the tra transformation and transition cards and the five of cups can be like what we were focusing on before was the lower vibrational emotions the lower vibrational beliefs and as we transform them we step into that power of choice because the two of cups are are what are left over here you got the three spilt cups before but here these two cups are the power of emotional choice which just reverberates what we were talking about in the um meditation about the power the power the power that you hold on your mental choices, your emotional, your energetic, and also the physical choices and actions in the outside world. So I love this power that's coming in because it does allow you to destroy and trust that when things are being blasted out, they, they no longer serve. And it's funny too, because the five of pentacles normally has stained glass and they're walking by a church <laughs> so how perfect is that so definitely um, check out that take time with zen if you haven't because it does give you a tool to help uh, release these energetic force fields that are keeping things from you uh, that are keeping these beliefs are keeping your health keeping wealth love whatever away um, and this can help bring freedom too so i love this for you and if you are looking for more messages of love from above there's a few things you can do first you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button that does tell me you're enjoying the content and hopefully you're enjoying this new format let me know in the comments down below um, but doing that also makes the YouTube uh, realize you're liking these types of videos and it'll bring others similar to it. The second thing you can do is click that subscribe button that gives you access to the notification bell. And if you go into the settings and select the all option, 
two things happen. One, you'll be notified right away when new videos come out on my channel. And two, you get notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. Also, doing a variety of things helps you be part of the love tsunami. When you like or share my videos, comment on my videos, be a subscriber, even be a uh, channel member of my channel on YouTube, all of those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy, crazy, happy, excited, wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful. It does help you be part of that love tsunami and help spread the Zen love. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings. All that information is listed in the description box of the video down below. Um, a lot of my services for the rest of 2023 are half off. What? Yeah, half off. So if you're interested in any of those, just check the description box down below. It's all listed there. All right, beautiful people, as you're going through this amazing transformation and this enhanced relationship with creator and spirit please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things our creator and of course i love you too so until we chat again much love to you you hang in there and you take care